Hello, this is Kevin with Earthway Experience, and it's the uh, 2nd of April, and uh, it's time to get some seeds planted, get things started. Um, this year I'm trying uh, some seeds from uh, Salt Spring Seeds. This is called the Zero Mile Diet. So, uh, you know, we go to the store, we buy our veggies, most of our food. For every calorie that we eat, there's 10 calories of oil um, used to get that to our table. So here we have a box and it has kale, lettuce, uh, wheat, barley, oats, uh, quinoa, some peas, just all kinds of stuff. They're all... Um, uh, heritage seeds so we can let them go to seed and we can use these seeds again next year but uh, I'll put a link up to these guys they're a uh, seed bank they grow all their own food and then they let it go to seed and they sell it uh, sorry to you guys in the in the US um, I don't know custom laws won't allow Canada to ship to the US for seeds but they ship to Europe and um, they're quite good seeds, so let's go out and see what we can do. All right, so here we are outside, and uh, you can hear the birds a little bit in the background. It's an Easter weekend, so we got a little bit of car traffic out there. But uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and head out here in a few minutes, and ah, for a few minutes, and see what we can plant. But I think uh, you're looking behind me there and you can see a little bit of a problem. We still have uh, quite a bit of snow on the ground. Of course I knew this. I'm just kind of playing with you guys today. But you can see we have uh, we have lots and lots of snow on the ground here still. And my, my box here uh, is still under the snow kids left a sled out here earlier this winter and it got covered with snow and now it's coming out but uh, we have to find a solution when we live uh, this far north um, here in Sweden where we're at we're as far north as, as Anchorage Alaska but this is uh, gonna be quite a green place here in a another two months but right now we have to start things inside so I'll show you what I'm working on this year so this year I uh, bought this very inexpensive small I guess you can you can call it a greenhouse it's about chest high here um, three shelves on it, a little plastic cover. Uh, if I put this outside in the sun at all later on, I'm afraid it'll probably be ruined in one one season, but if I use it to get things started in the house, I think it'll last a long time. It's just a cheap China import. These boxes here that I'm going to use this year, they're not from China. It's called the plug box. I don't know if anything like this is available in the States or if this was something that uh, is from England and then they've packaged here for for um, Sweden. But I'm going to show you how they work. I'm, I've seen them for about the last four or five years and I never uh, bought one. But this year <laughs> I made an investment and I bought about uh, 15 of them, 16 of them actually. So I'll show you how they work. Okay, here's our, our lid, and on the top we have these little uh, nipples, dimples, something, but I'll show you how that works. Um, but the box is, is kind of compressed right now. Okay, so I slid the box up, and you can see now, it just, it came up uh, the height of, of this. Now, the idea is, in the, later on, uh, okay, right now I'm going to fill these up with dirt. 
and then I take the lid here and I put it over the dirt and I push down and I get these nice little dimples in the the dirt and then I makes a nice place to put your seed a little bit of dirt over top of it and uh, we're all set but then now we are going to get our seeds growing and you know the plant gets to a certain size it can sometimes be hard to get out of these boxes so the idea is here I I uh, it's hard to work with one hand here I pull back on these levers and the box will drop down three or four two or three four inches and then the plug will be sticking up above the the lip of the box again then I can just draw them out and I won't uh, hurt the plants some of these small fiber pots that can go right in the ground but I'll put the the plug inside that with some more dirt and then it can go on for a little bit longer uh, this far north here we're not uh, it's not a good idea to put things in the ground outside until the first of June that's our uh, first days of, of uh, where the frost chance goes way down so I did some plants and now I'm going to do some smutron which is some wild uh, strawberries they're quite small but they're really good flavor and back here I have three trays with uh, a couple of different kinds of echinacea and then I'll have the smoke thrown and then I'm going to go through my zero mile diet kit and see which ones they recommend uh, planting and starting inside each one of these uh, I can get six boxes on each shelf and each one of the boxes has 49 uh, plants in it so we round it off to 50 and it's 300 plants almost per shelf so I can have close to a thousand small plants in just one 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 small footprint but it's a little compact fluorescent light bulb uh, it's not for light in there but it'll produce a little bit of heat right now my uh, front shade is is uh, up but once I get it all filled up uh, we got the smoke throne is done but once I get that up I can leave this light on it'll only draw quite literally pennies per, per week really and it'll just provide a little bit of warmth in there because uh, the house you know isn't always so warm in here but we get some sunlight from outside and then a little bit of heat okay we have uh, some dirt now here in the in these boxes see I just take this lay it over I'm gonna just put my hand in there and just push down a little bit take it out now you see I have these really nice uh, little dimples in there I'll be able to take the seeds put uh, one or two in each of the holes covered over and put the lid back on I have my greenhouse in a greenhouse almost 900 plants will have growing in there later today and once they start growing up a little bit more we'll show you some more but thank you for watching and uh, if you like our channel please subscribe thank you